Hi everyone, it's Anne here from Positively Papercraft. Today I'm going to show you tons of different ways you can use vellum and um, incorporating it in your crafty projects and stuff. So if you stick around, I will show you what we're going to make. All right, so this one is, I want to make um, a card, but I want to make the card from vellum. So obviously it wouldn't really support very well because it would just kind of bend. So what I thought we could do is I've took just this little edge of die here and I've cut, cut it out of some red card and I've done four of these, all right? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have them on the bottom of the card. So I will glue that onto there. To hide the glue, I will put the same piece on the inside and then I'm going to have another one in there and then likewise another one on the back. It will cover the glue and then it will also support the card. So I know that I need to have this just about here on the very edge and I've picked this really really nice stamp which is a Christmas tree sort of made up of Christmas words and I know that I have to have this just roughly there okay so virtually at the top of the card so I'm going to heat emboss it so I'm just going to get a scrap of paper here And I'm just going to wipe it with an anti-static bag. And I cut this to 4 and 1 8 and I folded it in the middle at 5 and 7 8 And this is a vellum that you can do heat embossing on and it happens to be one by Honeydew Crafts but you can get it from lots of different places. Um, and then I'm just going to do my stamping and then we will put this together. so I'm pretty happy with that I think oh, there's a fly in here I think you will agree that that looks really really pretty so what I'm going to do now is take my little bits of card that I cut and I'm going to have I'm going to put the first one on the front I definitely think that is such a pretty card. Now, regarding sentiment, what you could do is if you have a white gel pen, you could write your sentiment along the bottom, or you could just attach another little piece of white card and write it across there. Or you could even just come along with, you know, an, a nice gold gel, gel pen and just write your sentiment on the back. So you have a few options there, but I just think that's a beautiful little Christmas card to make by incorporating your vellum in it. And of course you could use any like card on the bottom. You could even have it, I mean really you need it on the side, but you could have it on 
you need it on the bottom for it to stand but you could have a diagonal you could even have a little bit across the top so there we go hope you enjoyed that one let's move on to the next one okay everyone this one is just a really quick little tip actually and it's adhering um vellum to give you know so it's like an invisible adhe um, adhesion really now i saw this on a few channels actually but the one i saw was um i think it's simply simple stamping i think um the lady is an american um stamping up demonstrator but what i found was um the lady used tombow now i don't use that anymore and i've just tried it with my pin flare book binding glue so i've just got a silicon mat here and i'm just going to put a little bit of glue on and i've just got a little bit of sponge here i think this was a bit of packaging from something actually and i'm just getting rubbed it all on there and then I, i've just got two pieces of vellum here and i'm just going to lightly tap this glue on here and then let's just see we're going to stick another piece of vellum together i can see that's stuck in the middle already but basically we're going to do some stuff with this in a minute but it does actually stick it and it's completely invisible so you won't have any glue marks so I'm sure you could try a few different glues if I'm honest I mean I think I used it with art glitter glue and it worked as well but we're going to like I say we've got some more projects and we're going to be using this technique so you'll get to see them better then so let's move on to the next one okay so this one is more of a way you can like sort of let's say you want to make a, a really pretty envelope for something um this is a really nice way to jazz them up sorry um and what i've what i've done with this one is i made an envelope um but what happens is when i put say if i put my card in you're going to see the card or the gift card or whatever it is so what I did with this one was I made the envelope and then I popped, I cut a piece of patterned paper and I've just popped that in. So then if I put my card or gift card or whatever I'm going to put in it, you would only see the paper from the outside, which is a nice way to pretty it up. Now, this is a little rub on. Um, that was the first one and I messed it up but they are a really good thing to use and I don't use them actually but I got sent these from a lovely lady who sent me these little shells as well um Karen I believe her name is and she sent me these and I thought mm, I'm going to try these but another thing you can use on vellum which I think looks lovely is like little peel offs again I don't really use them either but I'm definitely thinking about getting some more of these actually because they're really really nice so I'm going to make another one so I've got this vellum um this is just the thickest vellum I have ever used but you can't heat emboss on it it just warps it like kind of shrivels it up um but for anything else it's amazing I'll put the link for this but I think it's 300 gsm and it is so thick um so i've just cut it to make a four by four envelope uh, i've used we're going to use my envelope punch board here so four by four um i need to score and punch at three and a half inches so i'm just going to do that So I've punched it, scored it, and I've rounded the corners, okay? And I'm just going to start folding it now. So what I'm going to do is I know that I want to glue down these two little pieces. So I'm going to turn it over. And again, I'm going to take my silicon mat some glue and a little sponge and i'm just going to pop a bit on here and 
I'm just going to sponge the glue on there and on there and then I'm going to fold them over and stick this down and as you can see you can't see any adhesive at all so definitely try that for your vellum so what I've done as well is I've took another little piece of patterned paper here and I think I've cut it too short but I'm going to pop it in see if it's okay actually that's just to sort of decorate the envelope on the on the outside but yeah I've cut that too short so make sure you cut yours the right width um, and then it just makes a really really fancy little envelope and then on the back what I'm going to do is take one of these peel off not peel offs rub ons so I've got this pretty leaf here and I'm just going to peel this back and piece off which way do I want to have it I think um, let's see what would it be like this way yeah I think I'm just going to have it somewhere here and you get a little stick actually to rub it on but I'm just going to use this little bone folder you can even use your finger actually I hope I haven't moved it A little bit more there. That is so pretty with that little rub on, but that's just a a little idea so you can have your little piece of patterned paper or whatever you want to put and then it's a really fancy sort of you know it just gives it a really fancy look and then on the back we've got the little peel off but I would do the same come along with your glue and just put it across the top like that and then that will stick it down but yeah that's just another little way you can use up your vellum and stuff so let's move on to the next one all right so i have another one now what i thought was we could make a sort of like maybe a note card but you could also make it for say your own wedding invitations or some kind of invitation or even just a nice different way to have a, a little card for somebody so what i've done is i've just took a piece of white card which is four inches by five and seven eighths I've cut the same of a piece of patterned paper and then I've also cut the same of a piece of vellum so four by five and seven eighths but of course you could make this any size you want and what I'm going to do is take the piece of vellum and I'm going to use this really pretty stamp sorry and I think I have these I have some of these on my website I think if you have a look I'll put the link for them but I'm going to use this one which is today is the day and they're called loopy sentiments but they're a really good size and I'm just going to do what I normally do just wipe it with an anti-static bag I've got some Versamark and I'm just going to ink it up And then I'm going to stamp this in the middle of the vellum. Okay, and I think that's worked quite well. I think it has. We'll check. Anyway, I'm going to use some silver powder, silver embossing powder.
there we go it's give a sort of I don't know it's just in a way it kind of looks like one of those wax seals but it's not it's just a a large stamp but that's really pretty and then I've got this patterned paper and what I'm gonna do is using this corner punch I'm gonna punch some little photo corners out of it and get the paper the right way so I'm gonna have my card here now you could also stamp a nice sentiment on the back and write your own message that's why I've put the card on there and then I've got the little photo corner so I'm just going to glue this down like that which is making it more more thicker and substantial and then I'm going to have this over the top but what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a cropper dial and a little silver eyelet here so I'm just going to decide where I want that eyelet I think I'm just going to go for in the middle so punch the hole I'm going to pop the silver eyelet in mind what I wanted to show you was it's another way to use vellum so you've got your lovely little sort of top piece your little card there just to make it fancier and then you can write or stamp your sentiment on the back and I made a gold one as well um, using the same stamp and I just put a different piece of paper on but I just think they're so pretty and actually what I didn't do on that one was I didn't glue the card which I forgot so actually you don't have to glue that onto the card you could have another hidden message under there so I like that idea better you would have that that and you could have another hidden message under there and then you could write something on the back so that's another way we can use vellum so let's move on to the next one okay so this next one we're going to do a shaker card um, but we're going to make it like completely flat and we're going to use vellum and I'm going to try and do it like a white on white because I know a lot of people struggle with that as well so I've just made a card base um, I believe it's four and a half by five and six four and a half by eleven and three quarters scored at five and seven eighths and then what I've done is I've just took some circle dies um, and I've got a little sentiment that I'm going to use and all I've done is I've cut out a circle the smaller circle from the middle and then with, a, with the larger die I've just cut out some vellum and then I've cut out another circle in white okay and then I've just got a selection of little leaves I love these ones um, and I've just cut them out all in white the leaves I have them on my site as well really really nice ones I'll put all the I'll put the link for the site and you can go and have a look but anyway use whatever leaves you've got really so and I've picked some sort of really bright coloured shakers I just thought that can give it a bit of colour really so I'm going to take the vellum and then I'm going to glue it just on the inside So just put it about there. I 
and what I'm going to do with the leaves and stuff is I'm going to kind of sort of build maybe a, a full wreath or a half a wreath I'm not sure yet but I'm, I've just cut a selection out and I'm just going to start to kind of put them round where, where I think they will look pretty something like that so I'm going to stick these around and I'll be back when it's done okay so I decided to just stick with the one um, leaf die and I think that looks beautiful and I've the good thing is with these is you can pull up the little sort of leaves inside which I think gives it more dimension so I just used this one um, I decided it looked better with just them so and then I've got my vellum on the inside like that so what I've also decided to do is I think I'm going to change the sequence to these little blue sort of stars so I'm going to turn it over and we're not, we don't need any foam tape or anything because we're just going to have it flat and I think the trick is is not to put too many in um, and it seems to work quite well so what I'm going to do is just start popping a few of these just on the vellum and just space them out a little bit might pop a few more actually not too much and then the same there and then I said we cut another circle the same size which I'm then going to pop over there like that so I think what I may do is I may just put some glue around the outside of this and there we go we don't even have any shaker foam and you don't really need it if I'm honest and then of course I'm going to have to lift up my little leaves again because I've flattened them by um, pressing it down probably should have just waited and done it all at the end but it doesn't matter and then what I'm going to do as well is take so I've, I've cut a little sentiment which is thank you and again that's white I think I cut a bigger one but I think it's too big actually and I don't know whether to pop it across the middle yeah I think I am I'm gonna have it across the middle so it's just all white but I think it looks really elegant I just think that's such a beautiful card just out of a few little leaf dies and a bit of vellum and some little shakers and it was actually really simple to make because we weren't sort of messing around with foam tape and stuff so yeah that is beautiful you can definitely make shaker cards with your vellum as well but just flat ones so let's move on to the next one okay so this next one is actually really really simple but I think a lot of the time we kind of forget to use things that we already have so I've got a piece of vellum now it's the really thick vellum that you can't heat emboss but it is honestly it's so thick now for example let's just say I have this envelope here that I want to make a little bit more pretty so you can make a belly band obviously with vellum and I've just cut it so I know it will glue on the back but what I also thought was for example that little die that we used this is a good example because it doesn't have an well it can have a, an outside cutting edge but it can also not have an outside cutting edge so what I'm going to do is just start laying it like sort of on the on the vellum in any shape so I'm going to lay one here cut that through 
then I'm going to lay a one here and here and here and make a really pretty pattern. So I'm going to do that and I'll be back. So I've done that and I think you can see what I mean. I've basically just cut it so, you know, the kind of alternating shapes there. And then I've just obviously turned it over and I've just poked the little leaves through that don't actually cut out because I haven't used the outside cutting edge. But let's just say, for example, I want to make my envelope, you know, a lot more fancier. Doesn't that just look so pretty? It's just something different to do with the vellum. And also, I think loads of us have border punches. We forget to use them now. And I've just took a piece of vellum and I've just cut this, uh, punched this on both ends. So it's made this beautiful little strip. And then see the card that I made with the Christmas tree vellum there, I could then, you know, have this to sort of wrap around uh, my envelope just to make it more fancy, more decorated really. So that's another thing we can do with our vellum. But even, you know, something like this, what you could even do is just don't have it as a belly band, just cut a strip of it. And then you could actually just use it to decorate your cards, like, you know, have it sort of run down your card at the side. And I just think it gives a lovely effect by just die cutting them and doing different things like with your border punches and stuff. So let's move on to the next one. Okay, so this next one was just a little idea I had was, if you see this here, what I've actually done is I've die cut some vellum from a, I think it's a Tim Holtz background die. This one, I think, um, which is leafy twigs. I think it's quite new. Anyway, I've, I did that. But then what I did was I then glued it on top of another piece of vellum and then put it on a card. And I just love the effect of that. I think in a way it sort of reminds me maybe of a four embossing folder, something like that. So rather than just gluing the die cut to the card, I've glued it to another piece of vellum and then glued it on a card. And I think it gives a really pretty effect that actually. And then I've just die cut a sentiment and glued that on. So what I thought was I've took another piece of vellum. This is the, again, the really thick vellum that you can't heat emboss. And what I've done is I've die, I've cut a piece there and then I've die cut these beautiful leaves from vellum, the same vellum. So these dies here actually, and they're so nice. They're really large and really good quality and heavy, but I'll, I'll put the link for them as well. But what I thought we could do was actually create that sort of full embossing folder look. So that was a background die. We're going to do it this time. So do it this way. So what you could do is just lay your leaves or whatever dies you have, whatever dies you choose to use and sort of just, you know, lay them on randomly and then hopefully it will sort of give the illusion of, you know, a full embossing folder. And then I'm going to glue them on the same way with the sponge and the glue and then we'll trim them round and then I'll be back. So I'll glue these down and I'll trim them off and I'll be back. Okay, so I've done that and I just love that effect. It's sort of like a, maybe it's an etch type of look or maybe it's an embossing folder. I don't know. I just think it's a lovely effect. Glued the leaves onto another piece of vellum. So what I'm going to do now is literally glue this onto a white card base like that and I'm going to do the same thing I've cut a sentiment which is thanks and I'm going to pop that in the middle and then I've got a little one here which says friend so I'm going to have thanks friend But I think 
it really does give a sort of a beautiful sort of etched effect. Okay everyone, so this next one I've sort of done a similar thing to this before. So what I've done is I've got some vellum here and I've just got a couple of marker pens and I've also got some of the isopropyl alcohol and I'm just going to put a little bit in the cap actually. And I have just got this little splatter brush thing as well. So what I'm going to do is just sort of randomly put some of this alcohol marker down just wherever I think really so I might just put a bit here um, just a bit there just something like that I'm not even particularly bothered where I put it and then I'm going to take the splattery brush and I'm just going to splatter a few drops of it over the colour. And it sort of creates this, I suppose it's kind of like an alcohol ink look, um, whatever you want to call it. Now I want this to dry off first because we're going to stamp over the top of it. So what I'll probably do is just give it a quick dry with my heat tool and then I'll be back. All right, that's dry. It literally only took a few seconds to dry and I've got my stamping platform. And what I've done is I've just put this woodware stamp in it. This one here, but of course you can use anything you want. And what I'm going to do is pop the vellum just down so I know it's going to sort of cover um, the ink. But what I might do is I might just actually move this a little bit so at least that's sort of in the middle. So I'm going to move it there. And of course you can you know put more color down if you want it's entirely up to you i just really wanted to show you that this is actually quite a good technique to use so with everything heat embossing wise i'm just gonna wipe this over with an anti-static bag that's why you must make sure it's all dry and then i've got some versamark and i'm just gonna basically ink this up okay so that's done and as you can see we've just got that lovely sort of colour underneath and I just think it's a lovely sort of way to give more interest but as I said I probably would have put more on only because this is quite a big stamp I could have put some more down there and all over really wherever you want it but I think that's a lovely way to add some extra colour so what I'll do is I will these will be going straight on my blog so I'll do a pretty card or something with this one and I'll add that to the rest of them on my blog so let's move on to the next one okay so this one um you may always well you may have heard me going on a few times about the Sizzix creamy acrylic paint and how the white one is a brilliant you know a brilliant tool to use for stamping with so I thought this is bound to work on vellum so I've got some of that thick vellum again the one that you can't heat emboss but you can definitely stamp and I've just took a stamp here and I've just got a silicon mat 
some of the paint and just this little sponge dobber thing. Now you have to work really quickly and get the paint off this stamp as quick as possible because it will stain it. So I've just put a little bit of paint on there and I'm just going to pick some up with this sponge dubber, okay? And I'm just going to literally start putting it on the stamp and I'm going to try and work as quickly as I can. Okay, and then I'm going to take my vellum and I'm going to pop it there. And that has worked pretty well actually, apart from their way. I don't know whether I've put a bit too much on, but that does actually work. And rather than heat embossing, you can just stamp it with a vellum and it's even picked up the little sentiment. So I've got to quickly wash that off and I'll make this into a card for my blog. So we'll move on to the last one. Okay, so this next one, <clears throat> So remember we made this, this kind of little flip out, beautiful little card here. And let's just say I wanna make something to um, put it in. So I'm gonna make a pretty sort of little pocket for this, um, but it could be for any card. I've took a piece of vellum, which is nine by six and a half inches. And the nine inch side, I'm gonna score at four and a quarter inches. and then I'm going to score at eight and a half inches. Don't press on too hard. And then I'm going to turn it to the six and a half inch side and I'm going to score at six inches. So when we start to fold this, This will kind of fold in here like so and the bottom will fold up and then we should be able to fit our little our little pocket card would slot in so what I'm gonna do is I am gonna remove this little piece here And that is so that this piece can fold up. So we also need to remove this little square here. Okay, just like that. And then I actually may just take a tiny little piece just off here, just all the way down, just a really small little bit. and then that should close quite nicely like that and that will get stuck up in there so and I'm going to make a little finger hole here but before I do that so this is going to be the front I want to stamp and heat emboss a pretty design on there but it could be anything you want so I've gone for one of my favourite stamps that I use quite a lot and I'm just going to use my anti-static bag. Alright I have done that and I think that just looks so pretty. 
Isn't that just beautiful? And again, we can use the same technique. So get some glue onto my little craft mat here and just get the sponge. And I'm literally just gonna dab really and we've got a beautiful little pouch and I've just used a one and three eighths circle punch but you could use a die you could use whatever you've got you could use scissors really and then this is my lovely little sort of card we made and this is gonna get slotted in here There we go. So we have a fancy little envelope to um, store our pretty little card in. And I just think it's such a, you know, a nice different way to uh, gift someone something. Or as I said before, if you want to make your own invitations and stuff, I do think that's really, really pretty. So I hope you've enjoyed all the little tips and stuff. Um, remember to like and subscribe and I will be back again I've got quite a few things going on I think next week I've definitely got a video um, some more craft room storage and hopefully fingers crossed I will be releasing my first die next week so I'm probably going to do it on YouTube I'm probably going to do a premiere video um, I'll show you what it is I'll show you what I've made I'll show you what we're going to make together with it and also I'll have the links so you can buy it if you want if you want to it's entirely up to you there we go so check out my blog I'll have all these pictures on of what I've made with these and also I'm going to do something with this one and the one that was stamped with acrylic paint so thanks for watching take care and bye for now mm -hmm.